I'm going to be conducting the calorimetry lab with a peanut. The first thing you need to do is read through your lab and then make sure that your setup looks like mine does here. Make sure also that your um, stick for the food source is measured out as being only three centimeters away from the base of your can. So make sure to measure that. You're going to need 100 milliliters of water that you will pour into your can. The water temperature is what you will be recording initially and then after the food source has burned. Go ahead and place a thermometer into the can and let the thermometer adjust to the temperature. While it adjusts, I'm going to take the mass of my food source, which is a peanut. The mass of my peanut is 0.5 grams. You need to record that into your data table. The temperature of the water in my can is 24 degrees Celsius. Very carefully place your food source onto the pin. And then you need to start your food source on fire. I'm going to use a candle to do this because it does take some time to start the food source burning. Be very careful with matches. Once the food source has caught on fire and is burning, I will go ahead and place it under the can with the water in it so that the temperature change can be recorded. You'll start to hear some little um, kind of clicking when it starts to burn. That is a little uh, indication to you, um, like kind of popping, that the food source is on fire on its own. You're going to let that burn and heat up the water. Now that the peanut is completely burnt, you're going to check your ending temperature on your thermometer. For the data for the peanut, you're going to record a temperature of 33.5 degrees Celsius. You will be conducting this lab with three other food sources.